Okay, this is the second part of uh, MStudio use. Uh, the, uh, we are emphasizing MStudio is a really vision mixer, production switcher, virtual studio, everything all in one. And also we can do broadcasting from here, recording and uh, distance learning. So this is actually for uh, presenting device for everywhere. So uh, I just put the, uh, my notebook screen there. Uh, of course, you can bring PowerPoint, Excel as a file. So people don't have to connect the notebook, but they just bring the USB uh, to show what he wants to present there. So this time I want to show how we switch the scene to make a nice uh, the scene. So this is a second scene I made. This is a scene two. So here we have seen one scene two. I won't make this one very uh, very big for you to uh, to have a bigger scene. Uh, even it looks not very beautiful, but uh, it doesn't matter whether we explain this one there. So basically, uh, this is the scene, uh, and then I can bring this one down in the scene uh, scene one. So uh, here we have uh, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, usually, uh, on these two scene, two scene I I use for the actor big, and this one smaller. See, uh, so here slightly different feeling. To, atten to make attention for the students, slightly different background and then different camera actions. And then once you go here, we make a big uh, presenting screen coming up. It's like students watching the presenting material and then teacher. So when they watch the teacher, the scene has to go there. So uh, in the video recording, very important is the pointer. So when the pointer coming here, uh, everybody uh, watching that part. So the the M to pattern part, I to pattern part is when you bring this one in any place, it will bring you to the screen. So I won't make a, a, the automatic scene change control here. So uh, let's let's bring this scene to here to show you bigger screen. So here I just make uh, this scene bigger. Uh, <coughs> so if you if you look at uh, this part, uh, I just bring setup and then here we have a uh, auto scene control part. Uh, the <coughs> intelligent function we can add depending on what uh, you set up they automatically change. So the f first thing we are trying is auto scene here. Second one is actor. Third one is uh, screen one, screen two. So every scene, scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, you can manage the button here to change by yourself. I mean, from from the timing, from the scene change. See, uh, if I have a, a scene one and scene two, what I recommend you is scene one, scene two, because the scene one, scene two, you just speak continuously. You never touch anything. And there we have a scene, uh, auto scene defined like a 15 second. If they keep watching yourself, it should change from there to here. So we, we just make uh, this scene. Uh, let's say this is a scene one. If you keep talking like, uh, let's say, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, it, it makes slightly boring. Then we have to change it slightly to have a different scene, but still you, you can make yourself big. Slightly different background, for example, you can do this. So uh, what I'm trying here is usually on this scene, we make uh, some different different uh, the background feeling. So I just make uh, something like this. And uh, I mean the uh, wall scene with a slightly different uh, mixing. And then uh, I can change the color like this. See what happens. If you have a scene one, scene one have this. And when you keep talking, it will change. So uh, it will automatically changing like this one. So they, they have another 20 or 30 seconds. So let's make a setup that way. Automatic scene change without a, pro a production director doing pressing button for scene one, scene two. When they have a continuously talking, more than usually 30 seconds, they normally change the scene. So from here, we have a parameter that auto scene. If I click uh, this part, let's make this one bigger. 
Or I can make a pick like this, uh, the this way, and see uh, uh, f from here. Uh, <coughs> so if we, if I press the auto sin auto uh, auto sin change part, the number one, which is I'm very big. I won't make a sin change for. Uh, right now, I just make a second. Here we have uh, uh, like a ten second. Sin, sin here about ten second. So from sin two, ten second later, they can move back to sin one, and after a second later, they move back there. So I just uh, make a little bit short to change quickly. So for the testing, so here I I will type, let's say five second. And here I will say uh, about uh, another four second, and then <coughs> let's save this one and come back to here. So let's make a presentation here. Uh, what happens if I don't move uh, mouse? Uh, this one is automatic setting. So I just make a, uh, on here uh, enable. So enable means everything will work. The enable enable is here. You have to press this, one, otherwise it will not activate. See what happens now. If I don't move the mouse, and then we set four seconds, so uh, about four seconds later they will go back to scene one, and we also make a, a six seconds, so they count six seconds, so they will come one, two, three, four, and then scene two. Again, scene seven they go like this. So that way. You can change the scene with you just concentrate on your speech. At least the scene is uh, slightly moving. Sometimes, if you change too much, people uh, sometimes boring. But I mean, uh, slightly uh, disturbed. But uh, usually, uh, the all the broadcaster uh, more than thirty seconds keeping one scene is boring. So they change uh, the uh, scene as like we set up like this. So usually what I made here is about, uh, uh, for this presentation I can make a 12 second and here I want I won't make uh, again uh, maybe uh, 14 second depending on what, what you want to do. And then uh, what is important thing is when you uh, start presentation you are point of moving to here. So from scene 1, scene 2 when you move the pointer the, this one bring you to presentation scene, which is a uh, scene three and scene four. The scene three, as I show you this, so scene three has to have a bigger, and scene four, again, if you keep going one scene, it's boring. So scene four usually uh, I made, uh, uh, for example, the um, let's say this scene is slightly bigger like this. Uh, by the way, I forgot to tell you uh, on the uh, scaling. If if you click here, when you can see here is uh, uh, some list like uh, here. If you uh, if I move mouse, this and disappear. There is a custom scale. I mean custom aspect ratio, and sixteen to nine, four to three, and uh, native. Native means whatever the content size coming, they detect and they keep same aspect ratio. Uh, when you have a 16.3 or 4.3, they don't know what notebook input coming. So when you have a notebook connection, some presentation have 4.3, some presentation has a 16.9. Then you can select here native, which means uh, the there is a list for native. When you have a 4.3, it it makes a 4.3 like this. When you make a, a custom. Which means freely you can change in vertical or horizon, something like this. So you you just make this screen like this. So uh, uh, we can make a slight curve, and then we can make a rotation to make more immersive way or presentation there. And then this is scene four. This is scene three. A small small change you can bring that one over here. So uh, every scene has a different uh, size, but for three, three and four scene, we usually have very small, small change to make a little bit better uh, feeling of the motion. So uh, here's a question: uh, Once you have uh, the actor, main actor scene, 
then we need to have the mouse over function. So from this scene, you know, we, we have a 10 second here, 10 second there. So just act up, become bigger and smaller like this. Why you are doing this when you start presentation, you are point has to move here. So once you have point here, what we need is to show this scene. So uh, that's why we make a menu here. Uh, the on screen one, screen two, you have a screen one two option here. So when mouse coming to screen one, which is this uh, sc uh, this screen, then they should jump to at least scene three. Scene three is now we are there. So from scene two, when they mouse over there, they have to move there. So let's see uh, scene two what happens. Now I, I click the scene. I click the uh, screen one. So now we, we have a screen three, but in the screen two, when you click this part, screen one, click there. And then uh, this highlighted color, this uh, green color means it's selected. This is on, which means uh, when the mouse move, it doesn't show mouse over. This means mouse slightly move. We detect the move. And then as soon as this time, like a zero second later, uh, immediately they jump to three. Same thing here in the scene two. When you click scene screen one, if I click screen one, and then uh, uh, the mouse over means if you click here zero, let's type zero or zero, then it jumps to screen three. It jumps to screen three like like this. So see what happens uh, after we change. Okay, so we go back to here. And then uh, when you uh, talk there, you, you won't uh, move the mouse over to here. When you start presentation, as soon as you move mouse over here, they bring here. So you can talk there. And then uh, from here, again, if the mouse doesn't move, if you keep start talking, we have to go back to the presentation mode, I mean speech mode, which is a uh, scene to like this. What I made here automatically, see, if I move, they come. And then if I if I don't move, it will uh, return back to there depending on second. I said like 10 seconds. So if I keep talking to explain and without changing this pointer, they will bring you to here. And once you come to here again, uh, after some second, like 10 seconds, they go back to bigger and smaller. That way they can go there. So uh, uh, once you move here, you go there, and then if you go or uh, see what's saved, uh, say here. So here, uh, again, if the pop, if the mouse move continuously here, uh, I mean, uh, it's like we make a switching between these two scene. I want to make a two scene change. So if I see one, if you keep keep going on moving. And then this one more than certain time, like 12 seconds. Then 12 seconds later, we want to make a scene for, which is slightly change the feeling so students will not feel boring. So usually what this is the PD uh, switcher mixer people doing. So we make a scene for, and then scene for also, when you keep moving the mouse on scene, scene one, I mean here, if you keep moving more than uh, 14 second, 20 second, whatever you decide. Usually we said like uh, 14 second or 15 second. Then it, it, this scene go back to here, which means scene three. So we put scene three with this 10 second. I just make a slightly smaller value for you to see the difference of moving uh, quickly. So here 10 second, they go to four. Here 10 second go to three, which means when you keep talking with a pointer moving, it will uh, it will make you uh, this one or this one continuously. Okay, and then if you don't move the mouse, uh, as I mentioned, this uh, auto scene means when the counter uh, counting start only when mouse doesn't move. If mouse move, they count moving time. This one means moving time. This one means if no mouse move, they accumulate and go back to, I mean, reset. When you, when you finish talking and then they, they start counting no move. And then as soon as you move, the counter stop and then reset. This is all automatically made here. That way you can assign the switching. 
Again, here you see the uh, small uh, scene two. So scene two, what I made is if mouse move to scene two, I won't bring this one back to a slightly bigger screen like this. Here, uh, if I make this one bigger, so at least they can see this one bigger. So from here, if I make a scene two move mouse over, that will turn you to the scene two. That's what we set here. Same thing here, scene two. We just make a, a zero second later, they jump into. Let's try to see what happens. So in the scene three, if I move this one, more than 10 seconds continuously. See uh, what happens now, eight seconds, uh, five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, I keep talking and then it, it moves slightly bigger like this and start again from here the counting like 10 seconds, one, two, six seconds left, uh, five seconds like all, all the counting is showing here. So two, one and zero they move back to here. And here if I don't touch the mouse, let's, let's bring mouse here without touching and then that will count the uh, no move count. So uh, one, two, three, and then it go back to here to presenter's face bigger. That means every presentation code you don't have to worry about. You're just making this one coming, uh, or uh, if you move this one, as I mentioned, if you move this one, it, it will go back to make this one slightly bigger. So that way you can assign when mouse here, mouse there, when mouse over actor, you can bring back, of course or you can bring this one bigger. So that way, full automation uh, presentation made without any uh, uh, people operations. This is uh, all the advantage we have. So mouse over future makes you full automatic presentation. As soon as you have a pointer in, uh, in the classroom, same thing. When you have uh, your desk in front of the green screen, you can make this kind of uh, automatic presentation by the pointer. Okay, so uh, this is what uh, I mentioned of automatic and the next video I will show how you use the next slide from the PowerPoint. Thank you very much.